what's the ejection fraction and what's the clinical significance of ejection fraction and how is it different from stroke volume it's an important index of left ventricular function in systolic heart failure it helps to differentiate systolic heart failure from diastolic heart failure because in systolic heart failure walls are thin and powerless and blood can't be ejected out of the heart whereas in diastolic heart failure the cardiac walls are thick and ejection fraction is normal it is important to differentiate between the two conditions because the treatment of systolic and diastolic heart failure are very different from each other. A stroke volume is the amount of blood ejected per beat from a heart. At the end of the diastole, there is blood in the heart and then systole starts and after the end of systole, some blood is still left in the heart. Not all the blood ejected out of the heart Per beat. The blood that was ejected out of the heart was a stroke volume. A stroke volume now is the difference between the end diastolic volume and the end systolic volume. So if you see these numbers, the stroke volume is 80 ml, but if there's 120 ml was present in the heart, so that makes it a 65% of the blood was ejected out, which is 80 ml. The 65% is blood that is ejected out is the ejection fraction, which is the ratio of a stroke volume and end diastolic volume. Ejection fraction of 55 to 65% is normal. High in diastolic heart failure, high on hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and restrictive cardiomyopathy, ejection fraction remains normal, low normal or slightly reduced. If you see in this case over here, end diastolic volume is 100 ml in the left ventricle and 60 65 ml is the stroke volume which is 65 percent this amount is reduced compared to the normal one where it was 120 ml at the end of the diastole but in diastolic heart failure it's 100 ml but the ratio between the end diastolic volume and stroke volume remains the same so the 65 percent blood is ejected out which is normal ejection fraction What's the difference of ejection fraction between different types of cardiomyopathies? Ejection fraction is less than 30% in dilated cardiomyopathy, between 30 to 50% in restrictive cardiomyopathy, and is normal in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Stroke volume is the amount ejected per beat and is usually 80 ml normally, and a cardiac output is the amount ejected per minute and is a product of stroke volume and heart rate. At the stroke volume 80 ml ejected, there are two volumes in end diastolic volume and at end systolic volume. So the blood that is present at the end diastolic volume is ejected at systole, but not all the blood is ejected out. Normally only 65% of that blood is ejected out. So any increase in end diastolic volume will reduce the ejection fraction. And so this ejection fraction is about 65% normally. How do you measure the ejection fraction? There are many methods to measure the ejection fraction, but most commonly it's measured by echocardiography.